Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Argentina versus Mexico. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. The Argentina first team. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Here's how Mexico will begin the game. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, a nice looking pass. Just unable to... Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there. He's not going to take any messing about here. Well, I have a feeling we're going to see this time and time again tonight. It's a fantastic bit of technique just to get that much lateral movement on the ball. Wonderful strike. So underway again here. One nil the score. Henry Martin. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, 
or Berlin Pineda. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But quick thinking defensively. Messi. Now well Molina. Enzo Fernandez. Vital interception. Martin. Oh, great vision. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Romero. Was showing good defensive judgment. Fernandez. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Henry Martin. Here's Chavez. A really effective shielding under pressure. Lionel Messi. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. A fine reading of the situation. Or Berlin Pineda. Edson Alvarez. They're getting the ball forward. Can he play it in? And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. A danger here as he runs at them. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, when we mention the name Lionel Messi, the superlatives generally roll off the tongue. And that's what's occurring here, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Messi. Oh, big chance! And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again. And a 2 0 advantage here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And very deftly cut out. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Marcos Acuna. He must finish! And there! But hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you.
Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Alvarez. And Messi's incisive pass. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Messi, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Underway again, this game very much over as a contest. Taglia Fico. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Argentina have certainly had more of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. It's a corner. It's a short one. Well, the danger was on, but just a fraction offside. <laughs> Possession lost. Tagliafico Paredes Alvarez Pass after pass keeping their opponents moving Well there to intercept And he clears the danger. A really effective shielding under pressure. De Paul. Now Romero with it. Tagliafico. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Alvarez. Messi. And there we have it, the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a defeat for Mexico. Stuart, how would you sum up their performance? Well, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.